everyone. Exciting uh, uh, announcement for us. Um, and I'm, gl I'm glad to be here with Brian and Galen Holt. Galen is uh, partnering with us as uh, a key content creator um, but, uh, as we launch into um, much more advanced analytics. And we're here today to announce a brand new course that he has put together. Uh, this is a great chance to learn more about the, the, the Python course which, which we are releasing, but also about Galen and, and uh, his experience uh, and his expertise in this particular area. So welcome everyone. And um, Galen, why don't I just throw to you uh, just to give us a bit of a bit of an intro about yourself so everyone um, in the enterprise DNA community can get to know you a little bit better. Uh, mm -hmm. And then um, maybe just jump into uh, a little bit about the course and how you came up with it um, and how how you've structured it for um, uh, our members and for our users of our education platform. Well, yeah, sure. So, but yeah, yeah, welcome everybody. And I'm happy to be aboard. And, you know, I, I'm definitely, you know, excited for you guys to dig into the course and get some value out of that. A, a little bit about me, I've, I've worked in data analytics and data science for probably about 15 years. And, you know, I, I started out as not in data analytics. I started out as a scientist actually. And then slowly transition to data analytics and, you know, having that strong, I guess, statistical background. And what got me most interested in Python uh, is just the flexibility of it and, and to be able to, to solve problems really quickly with, you know, algorithms and, and functions that would take you a very long time, you know, with something like Excel. And then, you know, uh, pairing that with, with Power BI is just so powerful because Power BI is, you know, it's usually my go-to tool for, you know, quick analysis, you know, but using Python, you can get like so much more out of it. And one, you know, just the, the amount of data you can kind of ingest and, and quickly manipulate with Python is, is quite amazing. Some of the visuals that are Python and that it's constantly, constantly updating just like Power BI. So, I wanted to create a course to kind of show everybody like how you can pair these two technologies together and get the most out of, you know, your, your data analytics, you know, functions at work or, or just building projects on your own. Galen, what are some of the kind of the practical applications you employ with Python and Power BI in your work? Sure. Um, so those are tools that I use on a daily basis. I use Python a lot for some statistical analysis, like some deep level statistical analysis, building quick models like regression models and things like that that are not readily available in uh, Power BI. You can definitely do it. Um, but to get a quick answer, like maybe my someone comes to me and asks for, you know, some kind of correlations or, or, or something a little bit more statistical, I can do that, you know, simply with a few lines of Python. Um, and, and Power BI is, you know, is such a beautiful tool. I mean, you, a lot of times when you're trying to communicate those, those deep insights, you want to make sure that you can do it in a very kind of like digestible way. And I think Power BI really does a good job in, in allowing you to create a, a, a quick report or, or visual or even a, a story that allows people to understand like what, what you're trying to communicate. Great, great. And we've yeah. talked about this as, as kind of the first course in a series mm -hmm. of, of Python for Power BI users. What do you think by the end of this course would be your expectation about what users could do in Python with Power BI? Sure. Well, I, definitely one of my expectations is that you kind of remove that, you know, that, that stigma or that apprehension that, you know, programming is something that's difficult because it really isn't. And and if you're going to learn any language, I think that's out there, Python should be your first because it's so understandable. It's almost like sometime writing a sentence. Um, so definitely, I want that to be achieved, you know, through the course. And I think on top of that, just to see how much you can do with Python and Power BI together, where you can really create something that's quite amazing with actually very little effort. So throughout throughout the course, I, I definitely want you to see, you know, how you can incorporate those two technologies quite easily and, and pretty much impress your boss or whoever you, you, you're building a project for. That's good. My boss is sitting right here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it definitely doesn't feel that way, Brian. Um, the, I mean, I'm excited just, uh, just, just hearing you talk through the potential game because I, I, would, I would hazard a guess that most, um, most of our audience in the past are not familiar, that familiar with, with, with Python. And, and I would almost say that 95% of Power BI users aren't aware of the, uh, you know, the, the potential increase in your output you can create inside of Power BI in terms of efficiencies, but also stories that you tell utilizing um, Python. And that is you know, a big reason why we thought that um, getting into this content and, and getting you, bringing you on board to actually bring this to our audience was gonna be super valuable. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to hear um, a lot of the um, things that you've mentioned there uh, in terms of you know, um, re really getting everyone excited about the, 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 the creative aspect of what you can do when you combine these two technologies. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely think, you know, the, just the efficiencies you have, you know, using Python and, 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 you know, just pairing that with Power BI is just going to make your life easier. I, I, it just seems like, you know, doing, you know, doing programs seems very labor intensive, but when you really get into it, you realize like, oh, someone's asked me a question. I can go into Excel and answer that question, you know, creating some tables some pivot tables, some formulas that may take, you know, a couple hours and you can literally do the same thing in Python with maybe two lines of code that may take you 10 minutes. Wow. That's, that's, um, that's pretty powerful. Now what's, um, I've, I've got a question just, uh, just, uh, about how the course is structured. So how have you actually, um, put things together and, um, what's the, general experience going to be for those who, um, who, who are able to watch the course? Sure. So I honestly feel like, you know, like anybody who is interested in programming can take this course, but you don't need any prior experience. I mean, it's, I, I definitely broke things down into a very elementary fashion. So even if you're familiar with using a tool like Excel, you'll see a lot of the same concepts in Python like functions, you know, you use a sum function and in um, Excel, you use a sum function and in, in uh, Python and they actually look exactly the same. Um, so anybody who is interested in Python, you don't need any prior experience. You will, you will be able to quickly dive into things, you know, just with a very few lines of code, you'll be able to, this course is structured in a way where it'll show you how to bring in data into a Python environment uh, using, you know, what we call an IDE, which is a, a, a tool that is used for programming. And I'll actually take you through two of the most popular ones, Jupyter Notebook and, and Spider. One's a little bit more visual than the other. You, you'll be able to bring in data. You'll be able to manipulate data. You'll be able to create visuals um, with Python and then how we bring all that stuff into Power BI. And some of the things that you'll be able to solve in is like some of the issues that I see a lot around the internet is um, Python and Power BI having some conflicts. So I'll actually show you how to create a very clean environment on your PC to resolve a lot of those issues. And um, so you'll, you'll get the opportunity to do that. I'll also you know, take you through which packages uh, are really supported by Power BI. So you can avoid, you know, having some of the conflicts that you see around the internet with those two technologies. So it's, it's structured in a way to take you from very, very base elements to by the end of the course, you will be able to, you know, manipulate data frames, which is just a, a fancy name for a table and uh, Python and to create visuals that support whatever narrative that you say. And these, these visuals are very interesting and they'll be able to answer questions that you wouldn't even think you could answer um, with um, just normal, like, like a scatter chart. You, we can look at you know, things like KDE plots that exist in Python that are more statistical, but they definitely help you tell a better story. So by the end of the course, I definitely think you'll feel very comfortable with the with the, uh, some of the packages that are used for data analytics, which the number one out, one out there is Pandas. So you'll definitely be able to use Pandas, which will help you ingest and manipulate data. You'll be able to use uh, Matplotlib and Seaborn, which are two visual uh, packages in Python. So you'll be able to utilize some of the, the visuals in there. 
and you'll be able to solve some of the, uh, you know, the syntax and, and, and some of the technical issues between those two technologies. Again, I'm at the risk of triggering almost a religious debate, um, one, of the, <laughs> one of the questions that I get from people, from Power BI users, is I want to learn a, a secondary language to Power mm -hmm. BI. Is Python or R the right choice? And, well, it, mm -hmm. and I, I just wanted to get your thoughts, because when you said, you know, Python would be the first thing you would learn, you know, kind of what, you, what your take on that question is. Sure. So when I was starting out, uh, you know, that uh, that was always a debate, like which one you should learn. Should you learn R and Python? And we, we all know that they both have, you know, they both let you do, you know, anything from data manipulation to machine learning. Um, so I started out with R and I have to be honest, I found it a little bit hard for me, not hard in the sense, it was just foreign um, mm -hmm. because it was my... I learned a little bit of JavaScript and HTML and, you know, and then when I wanted to move to a language that allowed me to do machine learning or data manipulation, I started with R and I found it a little bit hard to grasp at first. So I moved to Python and it, it was just very simple. Um, you know, you're actually using words. Like if you want to import something, you actually type import. If you have, you know, things like that, it's just so very easily understood. And then another reason I got into um, Python is because there seems to be a stronger community around like model building and machine learning. Um, I think R is excels in anything statistical. They, you can tell there's a lot of support. And to be honest, Microsoft is, seems to be heavily invested in R. Mm -hmm. um, but I really got into Python just for its flexibility and ease of uh, ease of learning. It's a learning curve low. That's a great answer. Thanks. Well, I don't have too much else for me. I mean, um, I think this is going to be a, um, a magnificent addition to our course content, and I look forward um, to um, our audience. You know, everyone. Um, who's connected to Enterprise DNA, having the opportunity to watch us and to view it. And, and I, you know, I, we, we know, um, Galen, um, how, how good you are at uh, explaining concepts and, um, and, and, uh, and teaching others. And so we're really, um, really happy to be able to um, open, you know, get, get, your, get your profile much bigger amongst our audience as well um, and for them to get to experience that, uh, that also around such a compelling topic that I think is... Um, Really, a, a good, a, a great thing for any Power BI user to add to their toolkit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we all know how amazing Power BI is, and you know, Enterprise DNA is still a Power BI shop at its core. But these ancillary technologies are fantastic as well. And if we can take our storytelling to another level by by bringing something else in, then you know, we've got to be open to that, and I, and um, and we've got to learn it um, because it can make such a such a difference to the great output to our output you know, to, to the difference in the value that we can add with our analysis. So really appreciate um, your efforts in bringing this together and look forward to this being the start of, um, of, of many um, pieces of content that you, you bring to Enterprise DNA in the future. Yeah, very happy to be aboard and, and excited to, you know, see what the future brings. Thanks, Gail. Yeah. Really looking forward to diving Thank into you. this course and uh, as, as Sam said, the start of hopefully many more to come. Awesome. Thanks all. Appreciate Thank it. Thanks again, Gail.